Oh. <laughs> she just flicked us the finger. And do you recognize that view? Good morning. We've woken up here on Route 66. Uh, in the last episode, we drove across Texas and uh, Route 66 from Amarillo to the New Mexican border. And we are currently parked up at a travel center just a few miles past the Texas-New Mexico border. In today's episode, we're gonna be exploring Route 66 across New Mexico. But before we do, we're gonna go and check out this travel center because they've got a very cool looking diner. And if anyone's wondering how cold it is at night, there is still snow and ice on the floor from yesterday's <laughs> snowfall. When we crossed the border into New Mexico, we woke up to some pretty cold weather. We have woken up on a, an ice storm, a snowstorm. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, how American does that look? Thank you so much. So that was a fantastic breakfast. I'm absolutely <laughs> stuffed. Breakfast, lunch and dinner on a plate. <laughs> Pancakes, sausage and eggs. Uh, what's interesting is the hash browns, unlike our hash browns where they're sort of molded together and fried, they actually look like <laughs> grated bless you <laughs> they look like grated bits of uh, potato like mini fries maybe look at the size of that marshmallow that is massive i love the way the restrooms they got men as elvis and the women's side is marilyn monroe no i've got a better toilet no it is look no, marilyn elvis i know but i've got a better toilet <laughs> Men to the left because women are always right. <laughs> Check out these motorbikes, the old petrol pumps. Wow. And there's a bubblegum machine. Obviously. That takes me back to my childhood. <laughs> and a penny stretcher. And it crushes the penny. Yep. Oh, you turn it to the one you want. Right. Push it in. And then you gotta do the whole one. <laughs> Oh, you get exercise too. Yeah. <laughs> no need to go to the gym. But it has good leverage. Thumbs out, Route 66. That's oh, amazing. That's, that's very cool. Oh, there's a free car museum. How long has this been here for? We were 12 years old, July 14th. The boss's collection is, is over 40 years old. And this is roughly a third of the car collection. Is Cars. Russell still alive? Uh, he was the other day when I was talking okay. to him. He, he, he appeared to be. Okay. <laughs> I've decided in the olden days they didn't need gym memberships because these tills and all this. <laughs> just look at this. These are things of beauty. If you do come to uh, Russell's, you're driving down Route 66, you have to stop here this museum is absolutely fantastic it's the perfect stop off here on route 66. well that is a very cool stop i'm pleased we spent the night here last night and i can't believe we went <laughs> in and it was really cloudy and now it's really sunny it is it looks like we're in for a nice day today Welcome back to Trudy! Yay! <laughs> okay, before we hit the road, a quick clean of the windscreen and top up with fuel. You it get your, your kicks on route. 66. <laughs> Woo! We are not going to have a Tread the Globe single release this year. So we're currently on uh, I-40, which is the interstate that replaced Route 66 back in the day. 
and uh, the road running parallel to us all the way along here, this two lane road, is the original Route 66. After driving down through uh, Kansas and Oklahoma, Texas, it's so nice to see the landscape changing in the distance. There are actually hills. And there is still lots of trucks going past us. They it's are. Massive. The trucks are huge. When we first arrived, we said- Oh, they got army trucks oh, on the yeah. back. When we first arrived, we said how monster they are. And it's very easy to forget how big they are and it, for it just to be normal, but they are massive. That's a big hole. Oh. And I can't pull away from it because there are big trucks coming down the side. There the are. You got to you got to stick to your route on this side, but the yeah, the road is not good. There are literally holes everywhere like that. So we've arrived in the town of San John. This town was uh, created back in 1902 and in 1904 when the railroad came through, it became a pretty busy place. It's got about 200 residents now, but uh, after the I-40 was built, uh, it kind of slowly killed the town because they didn't get so much trade from Route 66. And you can see uh, remnants of the old garages and uh, some older cars that have been left there from an era gone by. But this is Route 66 here running straight through the town. It's actually very cool that they've also got a free overnight parking park here for RVs and campers. Uh, with toilet, there's a toilet block. They've got barbecues in the, uh, in the little free campsite here, seating areas. If you're uh, traveling Route 66, St. John, this is definitely a cool little place to stop for the night. And with facilities like this and free parking, what more do you want? I love the water towers. They always remind me of like um, some alien movie. War of the Worlds. Okay, so we're now heading to the town of Tucumcari, which is about 23 miles west of where we are. Once you're on Route 66, it seems like it's pretty well signposted. They've got the brown signs, historical Route 66, to uh, help you stick to the, uh, the right road. The condition of the road, is sort of, I've got to say, is better than that of the highway. It is, for sure. There's not so many holes in it. Now we're running parallel to the I-40. Route 66 sort of dances between either side of the, uh, the main interstate. We've arrived in the town of Tucumcari. It was established back around 1901 and was one of the main places uh, to stop when you're driving down Route 66. In fact, it's still one of the main places to stop if you're driving down the I-40. There is loads of like old motels yeah. and restaurants and diners. And uh, many of the businesses from the 30s, 40s and 50s are still in their original location. We were saying some of the places on Route 66, like this gas station, are perfectly restored and looking really good. And then there's other places as you drive along Route 66, which have a bit of more of a sad story. You know, they've closed down and uh, they haven't been restored. But it, that's all part of history. I think you have to let the romantic side take over and remember all the iconic stuff. Get your kicks. Oh. Route 66. Local residents Doug and Sharon Quarles took it upon themselves to paint 50 murals around the town uh, to act as a bit of a tourist attraction. Doesn't it look cool? One thing that's unusual for us as Brits coming to the States is all the drive-throughs. 
but that is the first sign I've ever seen for a drive-in tattoo. The town has actually appeared on quite a few movies and TV programs. The Clint Eastwood movie Raw Hide, a lot of the scenes were filmed here in uh, Tucum Carry. I'm looking for the boss of this outfit. Well, I'm in charge. Roddy Yates is the name. Loving the old gas stations. The, uh, for those of Breaking Bad fans out there, the, uh, the prequel Better Call Saul, uh, the first ever pilot episode, refers to uh, evicting a man from his house from this town. Tom Cruise also mentioned it on the movie Rain Man. Hey, just, just take it, take it easy, take it easy. I'm in Tucum Carry. But this is one of the coolest we've seen, the Blue Swallow Motel. It's a famous, iconic site here on Route 66. You can imagine uh, back in the day that the, uh, the town would have been full of uh, bright flashing neon lights as they uh, try and entice passing travelers to come through the doors. Definitely a bygone era. Okay, we're leaving Tukumkari and now we're heading further west again. I'm impressed that you can say that. I'm literally phonetically Googling <laughs> how to say. I may not be pronouncing it right. <laughs> if I'm saying the name of the town wrong, please do leave a, a comment below and let us know how it should be pronounced. But still, look. Uh, all the way down the uh, the road here, they got more motels. It's actually quite a big town. It's surprising how big it is. Okay, so we've driven about 40 miles west and uh, we're nearing the town of Cuervo. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> when you researched and said you were taking me somewhere unusual, <laughs> you know how I feel about ghost towns. Practically speaking, it's not a ghost town because I think there's still about 50 people that live here. Okay, but it looks empty and spooky. So yeah, the town of Cuervo was uh, pretty popular back in its day. Now it's almost uh, a ghost town. It's probably not a good idea to tell you that online it says that it's haunted and ghost hunters come here. <laughs> it's daylight. Let's go and have a little, let's go and have a little nose, Marianne. And you can see there's quite a lot of houses and pretty well nobody lives in any of them. This is a nice little house, a little renovation project. It's weird that they're just left to go to ruin, isn't it? There you go, there's another little house, the church. This, this does not count as a date. Just so you know, <laughs> this is not a day. Weird. It's just strange that somebody's, somebody's life and house and you wonder how did it just finish? I mean, I know it finished from Route 66, but I suppose there was no money, no jobs. And there's houses, look, loads of them. Okay, now we're carrying on our journey west towards uh, Albuquerque to Santa Rosa. It's looking very wintry and grey that side. Luckily, we're heading towards the blue sky this side. see for miles we've still got these very long open spaces that go on forever. Look at that. Okay so we're actually turning off uh, the current Route 66 now and we're heading on the 285 up towards Santa Fe. This is actually the original route back in 1926. Route 66 used to go up to Santa Fe and then down to Albuquerque. But after 1937, it actually went through Moriarty straight to Albuquerque. Still a bit of snow in the shaded areas by the side of the road. 
but everywhere else it's uh, it's melted from the snow we had the other day. But the Romans have been here again. Yeah, the roads are definitely straight, that's for sure. One thing's for sure, the scenery has suddenly changed and we've got beautiful views, a bit of greenery, mountains in the distance, and uh, the sun is going down, which makes making it all look beautifully golden. I love these kind of drives. We're nearly at Santa Fe and there is literally a hill that looks exactly like a pyramid. The sun is just going down over Santa Fe. We've arrived in Santa Fe. Woohoo! Woohoo! Although with the sun in front of us, we realise how disgustingly dirty our windscreen is. It really is. But we've made it to Santa Fe. So we had a very cool night hanging out in Santa Fe and we're carrying on down the old Route 66 to the town of Albuquerque. It might sound familiar because that is where the famous series Breaking Bad was filmed. So let us know in the comments, have we got any Breaking Bad fans out there? I personally loved the series, I thought it was very cool. And so on the way through, we're just going to check out and just share with you just quickly a few of the very cool sites uh, of filming locations in Albuquerque. Welcome to Albuquerque. We've come down to the old part of the town. It's a very cool looking square, but there is a little shop here that I just had to check out. The Breaking Bad shop. Come on, owner. <laughs> you are literally like a child in a candy shop excited to see this well the thing is you watch all these series on the tv you get really invested in them you love it and uh you want to go and check out the places and uh i'm really excited to go and see whether they really look as cool as they are they bring back all those memories and uh, we've done a couple of them we've done the goonies and rambo and it's nice to take that little trip down memory lane and just bring it to life in a different way I am the one who knocks. I love it. And then in the back of the store, they've actually got a Breaking Bad museum. These are the actual signed costumes from the, the, uh, the series, uniforms clothes it's a very very cool place great stop on a quick tour of breaking bad around albuquerque we've had a few comments actually saying i look like walter white i'm not sure what do you reckon anyway now we're gonna head to the chicken restaurant because apparently it is a real restaurant okay we have arrived this is a really special moment. It's actually part of the, uh, the food chain, Twisters. Sometimes you come to these sort of movie locations and you have a big expectation. And uh, I don't know, is there gonna be any Breaking Bad memorabilia in there or is it literally just like a Twisters? That is Los Poyos. Oh, look at that, as soon as you walk in. They've got the sign. <laughs> I love that. That is fabulous. Oh, this is cool. They've actually uh, embraced it. Look, the clearing station here. Some signatures of when they were here. This is Los Poyos. What can I do for you? Have a seat. Please. So there you go, 
that is Walter White's house and it's covered in Christmas decks. How cool is that? It's nice they're going to the festive season. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> well, the owner of Walter White's house isn't so friendly because she just flicked us the finger. So turn right here. Oh. We didn't even get out the van. I we... didn't expect that. No, me neither. But there you oh, go. Wow. It must actually be very stressful, I suppose, living in a house like that. If you knew um, that your house would you rent your house out to a movie company expecting maybe one day there could be fans taking pictures of your house? What do you reckon? It's an interesting concept. Wow. She obviously hasn't embraced it. I would be doing tours on my house and letting people throw a pizza on the roof. Okay. How excited am I? The car wash. It's the real car wash. A2, three makes 10 and 10 makes 20. Here's your receipt. Not, just hand this claim to this to your car wash professional. Said, Thank you. you. They've got some, uh, they've got some Breaking Bad posters, posters in there and uh, some memorabilia on the wall. You're still in shock, love. I'm still in shock. I don't think anyone's ever flicked the finger at me before, ever. Okay, we've come out of Albuquerque now. We are in the New Mexican desert and we're looking for that famous spot where Walter White came out into the desert in his white underpants. <laughs> and we're pretty sure we're going in the right direction, but the road is a little bit dodgy. Oh, this is starting to look a bit familiar. If you are thinking of driving out here, just for the record, if it was raining, this road would not be possible in a two-wheel drive, I don't think. There you go, guys. Check out this for a landscape on this dirt road here. And do you recognize that view with Walter White stood in this road at the beginning of Breaking Bad? So after that fantastic drive through the New Mexican desert, we are now heading back to Route 66 to continue the drive up to the Arizona border uh, on Route 66. I have to say, even if you're not a Breaking Bad fan, this is incredible landscape, worth the drive. It really is. As we head uh, west through New Mexico, the landscape's getting more and more amazing. We've got the mountains coming in the distance, really fabulous rock formations and big trucks. <laughs> <laughs> The rock formations are mad. They've got like, it looks like they've got a concrete bottom and then like a red top. Okay, because the sun's going down, We've uh, turned off at the town of Grants and uh, we'll go and have a little drive through town and uh, find somewhere to park up. So as we were driving through the town, I saw this mad sign, the Route 66 neon drive through. There's an arch, but you're supposed to drive through and have a photo taken. Bit mad, right? You good? Oof. 
minus four this morning. So we, uh, we spent the night at one of the Love's truck stops with all the trucks. And uh, today we're carrying on, we're doing the last stop on our Route 66, a little trip through New Mexico. I Ready love to... Love's. I've decided, when you, if you're slowly traveling, you get to like park up and chill out and hang out, but we're moving quite quickly because of the weather. So I love Love's and these flat car parks because you just like rest stops. There you go. That's what you call a mobile home. <laughs> <laughs> Literally a mobile home. It's a home on wheels. <sighs> okay, we've arrived in the city of Gallup. It's 140 miles from uh, Albuquerque and uh, 23 miles from the Arizona border. So here you go, welcome to the city of Gallup, the most patriotic small town in America. The question is, how do they figure that out? How do they know that they're the most patriotic small town in America? I'd love to know. What do you think? Yeah, there you go. Look at that for a warm welcome to Gallup. New Mexico has been incredibly friendly. It has, but apparently there is a, uh, a famous uh, hotel that we're going to stop at and have a bit of breakfast. So here you go. Welcome to the El Rancho Hotel. And the uh, very friendly truck is right in, coming up right by the do side of us. <laughs> She's coming to say hi. Thank you for such a warm welcome. Welcome to New Mexico. We have a hot air balloon. I want you to have our car. Oh. I don't know if you saw us. We were in the sky about an hour ago. Oh, really? Yes. 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 Well, we, we'll give you a, a sticker and a car. Oh, thank you. We love that. And are you are you going to check out the El Rancho? This is why yeah. we come. Good. It's beautiful. We come for short. breakfast. Wonderful. Is it nice? It, it is, looks cool. It is. And they're remodeling. They're doing a nice job. Oh. So enjoy. Oh, Great. Thank welcome. You. Thank you very Bye. much. Thank you. <laughs> Look at that, what a cool looking hotel. Uh, back in the day, this area, they used to film lots of Western movies here because of the uh, surrounding landscape gives that real authentic feel. And in the 30s and 40s, this was the place to stay. Wow. This is fantastic. The big log fire burning in the middle. Actors such as John Wayne, Audrey Hepburn, Kirk Russell, even Ronald Reagan have stayed in this hotel. John Wayne. Shirley Temple. Shirley Temple. That was a very cool little stop off, a lovely breakfast. I had some Mexican breakfast, which was great. Uh, so yeah, if you're coming down Route 66, I would definitely recommend stopping off here in Gallup. And uh, that is the end of our trip on Route 66 through New Mexico. It's been absolutely fabulous. Yeah, fantastic. And if you want to see more of our Route 66 road trip, then check out this video right here. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>